See how we can, uh, to break this one down. A couple of the ex-LGD players in this game. Somnus, FY, the Void Spirit follow-up, whether it's the Marana to catch with the arrow, the Drow even silence as well. But the Cook into the crush. Drow's gonna take a bit of damage here. Very nicely done from Radiance there. Actually might even secure first blood. Helme pops the Fairy Fire. He's gonna try and get underneath the tower. But Yang will be able to secure that. He's gonna pay with his life. Number, Axe. Yang's coming over. Yoris doesn't have the ultimate. Why can he get in range though? However, the Echo Stomp just a little bit late, but nothing to say with the double damage rune. I'm gonna try and get in range, Yoris. They're actually wanting to man fight because even Somnus is showing up to the brawl as well. Nothing to say he's gonna move forward, but the chains holds them both back here, and why is gonna pay the price? Radiant are pretty okay with taking the fight because they've got all their ultimates and they're a very high level. They're going to try and burst down the starter with the fault coming through from the Elder Tide of Red Panda. Can he get the relocate out in time? He does. And now Yuris drops the Chrono Fear, but the kisses from downtown. Axe, incredibly tanky. He's not going to die from the combo, but looks like Somnus is going to be able to go forward. He actually joins straight to the Remnant. He's going to be careful, Somnus. About a third HP. But Red Panda is going to be able to come back with the sustain. OGD really trying to hold this tower at the moment, but looks like without the Axe to counter initiate, Yang's going to try and get involved. Oh, Chains holds him back. Yang's got the fall damage. It's a double kill for Somnus. Now they can continue chasing. They saw the drow. So Ahmed's got to dip out of here. It does force at least a lot of rotations down bot from Radiant as Faith Beyond. Gonna be able to get the call. Finds two for where's the fall? But the Earth Spider nothing say he's gonna get involved as well. They need to be able to bring down the Iowa when they do just that. Now Yuri's gonna show off how it's a perfect chronosphere. Where's the fall from FY with the one of the kisses? It's holding it all three with the damage coming out. It's too much for them to deal with as LGD. They'll lose three. The Radiant, they're gonna smoke up. Smoke on Moonlight. Yang's gonna end up popping there. I need to be careful. That's some incredibly important targets here with the call coming out. They've got the arrow set up as well. The Ember's gonna be in trouble with the combination. It's beautiful from LGD, but they still get stuck inside the Corona Spear. It's holding three in place with the Kisses Fault. Not that he's in trouble. He's still got the Yule Scepter to be able to utilize here, but the Cookie from FY is gonna just be able to find him before the Yules. They've got a cancel of the TP as well. So 5 4 from Elephant. Man, what an initiation. The Axe Call. Die. They're going to smoke up Radiant. Their ultimates are available. Faith Beyond. Running up the higher ground. He's going to be able to find Yang. Gets a call with the arrow follow up. Iris in the area. Red Panda hasn't gone for the relocate just yet. And now with the Uosept actually locks him in place. But on top of the back line, they're going to try and deal with the Drow Ranger. Chronosphere lock him in. But where's the follow up? There's coming through with the Mortimer Kisses. But nothing to say. Instantly cancels that one out. So it's a two for one to start. Faith Beyond once again with the fall. But here we go. Eurus is silent. He eats the arrow as well. The ammo's falling low. But they're going to turn their attention to the faceless point. Who's locked in place with the follow up Echo Storm. It's a triple for Faith Beyond. But look at them go. Sniff and blood. As FY chase down here, they get the root. No matter actually for the call, but it looks like nothing to say should be able to catch. He's got the yours for the remnant. Man, that is a incredible fight for Dyer is actually. Somnus gonna go forward. They got the yours, his call available. No mana. Somnus actually man fighting with Red Panda back alive. He's gonna try and bring down one. Finds the elder tired and gotta be careful though, because Jane's got the follow-up. Blink crush off the mark. Oh, gobble ups in Q. They get the stun. Dire. Numbers are collapsing on mid. They're going to be able to bring down the slider. Now they got the fault as well. It's a quick slide. So I'm just going to be carefully slowed down. So the remnant is not getting any distance. Where's the fault? The sound's actually going to be there fast enough. It's going to get brought down. Uh oh, they're in trouble here. Elephant. FY's got a cookie. Can it get over? He'll make it on the higher gun, but they should be able to fault. Faith Gun's got the blink. I mean, that's Roche. If they want it, they can probably just take objectives as well. Now Faith Beyond. He wants blood. He gets the call. Taunts up the IO. They're not really in range here of Dire. They're coming over. Faith Beyond even commits the BKB. Meanwhile, up top, Slaughter's even going to die as well. So it's still across the map. And FY could be in trouble. Zinc Q with the Yules. Man, these Yule Scepters are just catching out Radiant. Left, right, and center. That's a double for Faith Beyond. They're not even done. They find the Void. That's a massive kill. The BKB is available. Yurus actually time walking aggressively. He's going to try and TP out. Faith Beyond's got the call. Yurus, what is that time walk? Where are you going, sir? He somehow still gets away. Well aware of where Faith Beyond's positioned. Can he get the blink? Actually, gonna jump forward. Nothing to say. He instantly pops the BKB. Now with the call, they're gonna try and turn on top of the Slaughter. They need to find the Drow Ranger. They've got the vision in the moment, but now with the Silence actually prevents the relocate, so Slaughter's gonna end up falling. They've got the Echo Stomp into the Silence combo, so now with another kill as well. Really nicely played from LGD. Who holds the high ground, though? Uh oh, Faith Beyond. Smoke's gonna pop. He's not in the best spot here. 
The initiation crushes off the mark. Now they're going to counter Fate to be on. Now with the call on the back line, they're going to find the snap fire. Instantly bursting through the slot. And now with the multi shot as well, Iris just going to get brought down with the secondary call. Radiant, they've got to disengage, but they can't do so fast enough. The movement speed slow. Fate to be on going to be able to come forward, but it's Kronos feet just locks in one. The Mirana, it's not the all important target here. They need to find the Drow Ranger. They're unable to do so successfully. So I'm just had to pop the 10 second BKB to disengage, but it looks like they're in trouble. As snap fire caught out with nothing to say. He's void spirit, but they're not done. As Eurus, he's getting hunted down here. Nothing to say. He's almost got that ultimate back available. So it looks like Eurus is going to get caught out here. No BKB. They've got the fall up. Perfect timing in the Echo Stomp to allow Arme to get in range. That's four dead on Elephant. Somnus back is looking like he's trying to split push out the map because he doesn't actually have a TP. But the Io is in... What? Io is in goddamn big amount of trouble. <laughs> What is that relocate? Ember stays top as well. And Dyer, they're all alive to go through it. Bubble lock. There we go. Euro straight into the middle. Doesn't actually find the connection at the moment. Now, nothing to say towards the southern side. Instantly bursts through Yang, who doesn't have a buyback. Now, Faith beyond with the counter initiation. Straight on top of the faces void. Instantly dropping the Gs before he dies. Man, LGD. What a game one. That's a credible performance from them. Just... Preemptively drop that sentry just in case. Oh, with the wrap realm. <laughs> Never mind, no real wrap realm. So we're gonna have to keep a bit of an eye down, but there's gonna be a lot of kill threat as they find why. Triple sun's coming out. Why can he stay alive? Won't be able to. So they're not gonna show that, and, and actually, they just take a fat stack away. Yuri's got an extra one to play with. Dyer trying to smoke up the to top to find Yang, but Radiant. They're mirroring the movements perfectly here, Yang. Has the Ravage. Can they chain lock him down and burst him before Ravage? Yeah, with the Mortal Kisses, they're all grouped up on top of the kiss. Oh my lord. Perfection from Radiant. As Somnus finds a triple. Yang is posturing very aggressively with the Ravage on cooldown. Awesome rotations. Nothing to say. He's even going to show up as well. Actually, Astral steps into the LSA. Now, nothing to say. He's going to be careful. He might end up dying here. They bring down the Timber. Yuris is going to show up as well. He needs to get the Storm Hammer, but the Mask of Man is going to be able to cancel that. And now, Faith Beyond. He's got 24 reactive armor stacks. This is a hard man to bring down with the roll forward. They find this Ven. So, this Pyres to pop the Mortimer the Kisses. They're all grouped up. So, it's an immense amount of damage here. They need to try and cancel this. But where's the stuns? Nothing to say. Actually, uses the Remnant to try and control up FY instead of canceling the ultimate from Sun. So that'll cost him his life. Faith Beyond completely out of mana. And he's going to end up falling. So a lot of damage from Zin Q. They are right next to the T1 tower. So there's always these rotations that can potentially come out for them. It looks like Red Panda might just sacrifice his life to keep the Snapfire alive. Without the stuns though. And now Yuris is thinking about a wraparound. They're actually going to roll forward. They find Red Panda once again with the chakra from downtown. Faith Beyond was secure with a kill. But it looks like Zin is going to pay with his life here. As now Yank, he's even got the Ravage as well. So he can push it pretty aggressively. Now getting a lot of farm. And he's actually going to be going for a Radiance as his next item. It's Faith Beyond doesn't really have too many reactive armor stacks. He's got to be careful though. They really want the tower. One's gonna fly, die. They're gonna try and take the fight. If they can burst him down with the Ravage coming through with the Mortimer Kisses. Faith Beyond crushed up at the last second. They need a way to cancel the Kisses. They do so, but what's the consequences? Radiant, they're gonna end up losing three. Chase down as well. Yuris will show up, but it doesn't matter. Um, he's incredibly tanky. Red Panda's gonna buy back. He might just die here, though. He didn't cancel that TP. Yeah, bye bye, Red Panda. That's a dieback for you, my good sir. Now, my boy, Faith Beyond. He tanks everything up, and they do a much better job in that fight, LGD, to cancel off the Mortimer Kisses instantly. Do they want to go more deep to find Faith Beyond? Time reactive armor. Gobble up, Faith Beyond. He's in trouble. It's a lot of damage, man. Really nice initiation. The gobble into the god strength from Eurus. Are they still going to get the tier 2? Even getting rid of the creeps? Man, that god strength. So much damage. He got a bottle in a DD too, so... Well, how long were the ages? They still got another two minutes. Yang? He's away from the team here, Dyer. They're coming over. He's still got the Ravage. 
Graves is on cooldown, however. Can they burst it before he gets the Ravage off? He's incredibly tanky, thanks to the Kraken Shell as well. We make it on the high ground. Roll forward, Zinq clips off the Slaughter. They really want to try and find more, however, than just the Slaughter. But the Gobble Up stuns up too, stops the extra aggression. Yang's going to have to commit the Ravage. Now, they've got the Remnant to instantly cancel the potential in the TP. Now, down to the southern side as well. Zinq, he's going to catch more. Summers, you're in trouble here. Rolls up the mark, but nothing to say. He's got the fault with the Yule Scepter into the Remnant. Yuris is trying to come over with the double damage room, but he's not going to be able to get there in time. Um, is about to have Haunt, so it's actually going to be around the same timing as the Ravage, so they won't really be able to pressure this. There's nothing to say. They get the Yule Scepter set up here. Can he get anything off? Nice LSA timing. Beautifully done from FY. He didn't get the Dissimulator. Now, Y is going to be in trouble as well. They're trying to wrap over. Expensive four star fates beyond in the river too. Nothing to say. He's got a buyback if they want to take the fire tier. It's a decent magnetize. But now following up, Eurus, he gets rid of the Yule Scepter. So the Earth Spirit's going to end up falling. There's no buyback from Void. They're not showing up to the fight there. A uh, little bit of miscommunication coming out. As Elephant, they'll punish them. Oh, Eurus. Already Silver's Edge. Oh my god. He's so farmed. I think they just got vision, though. Zinku's going to roll forward. They got the haunts as well. He's going to try and instantly burst through the Earth Spirit, which will be successful. But now Yang Hauer, the full target of the Onslaught coming out from LGD. He's still got the Kraken Shell. Gets rid of the Silence. Almost on top of the backline with the Mortimer Kisses. Nothing to say. Needs a way to cancel this, but the Ulcept is going to be able to do so. They're kiting through Eurus' BKB. He's about to have the God Strength available. However, they're going to go back forward, but into the cross. Slada tries to turn and out with the Fault and the Gobble Up. They find a multi hero stun, but where's the damage coming through at the moment? How they got the God Strength, but it looks like he's going to end up falling gains in the blade mail dire an incredible fight for them they want more Somers pops the bkb he's trying to run away they drop the sentry perfectly played by zinq oh the catch is there lgd they punish elephant i'm like oh wing on a second back again yang Got the Ravage, Eurus with the Silver Search as well. They're going to try and chuck at the Horn Army straight on top of the backline, trying to deal with the supports here. They're falling pretty low. Tied on to Can he get the cheese off fast enough? He's still got the Ravage as well. They're stunning them both up. FY is falling incredibly low. The Ravage is going to fly. It stuns them, but where's the fall of damage? How we're coming through. Eurus without the ultimate, but now Army is going to be careful. He's going to end up dropping a Laguna Blade, just cuts him down. And now Somnus with the BKB protects him through the Mortimer Kisses. But Dyer, they're still continuing to fight. They don't have enough mana on top of Fates Beyond. And now with the follow up, Eurus, he's got that Superman straight on top of the Void. But they've got to disengage. Nothing to say. He's actually going to try and buy back to rejoin the fight. They actually want to try and take a fight down bodies. They're going to smoke up at all of Radiant here. It's a nice double silence. F5 falling incredibly low. They burst through both these heroes. And now OGD, they can continue for more with Roll 4. Clips on top of Eurus. So we've got the Aegis to be able to utilize Yang as well with the Ravage. But it looks like without the heroes, I mean, Somnus has got a buyback. They're kiting the fight to the elbow so he can rejoin the fight here. Eurus pops the BKB. He's got to try and turn with the crit coming through. They got the Lotus Orb, but it doesn't matter with the BKB. Face Beyond can he get inside the river. The straight on top of Somnus, though, he's got to be careful. Can they bring him down a second time? However, they pop the Lincolns on arm. They still continuing to man fight. Nothing to say. Oh my god! The creep! Bye bye! You're out of here. Dead for 85. Oh, he's got buyback, but no timber. Why? Come on, sprites. He's posturing super aggressively. Look how fast they take the objectives. They got Desso. Yang gets the cookie stone on top of the Enchantress now with the Gobble Up. I mean, they're trying to tank through all the abilities. They'll buy back on the Spectre Void. Spirit's going to try and counter initiate. Eurus is very deep here with the BKB on cooldown, but they get across to provide him a little bit of space. Nothing to say he's going to move forward once again, but it looks like the roll doesn't fly through. They got the Yule Scepter to try and control him. BKB is about to come up in a couple seconds here. Can they kill him throughout the duration before he gets it off in time? Now Eurus makes it up with the high guard. He's going to try and turn. Nothing to say he could get once again. Eurus, he's somehow still alive. The dagger just gets the kill. But Radiant, they can continue on. Eurus going to buy back, join them with the outpost. Army bashed up. He's going to be careful. They try and get the roll, but look at the damage coming through. Nice kick down to the low ground army somehow still alive but what's the consequence they'll buy back on the earth spirit oh kick forward fades beyond we'll be able to bring down the slaughter a lot of buybacks getting forced out here Eurus is going to be able to rejoin the fight though uh oh faith beyond can he get the chain on the high ground he can why well, he's doing a decent job at that Eurus is going to be careful he did just buy back they're going to posture aggressively. Yang as well. They're going to roll forward. Red Panda counter initiating with the BKB pop. As Zinku's falling low to the right clicks. They're going to try and reset the fight. Army doesn't feel content with going forward, even though he's got the horn. God Stress, it's about to wear off as well, but he will still find one kill before it expires. Now, Faith Beyond, he's outside the base. 
Oh, the, my God, the crits. It's just way too much. They can't deal with the Gobble up on the back line. Earth Spirit's found. It's all up to Ame. He'll try and juke and drive through the horn. He's got the blade mode. We'll find one. Gets the heal back as well. But where's the follow-up stuns? A miraculous hold against them. As Elephant. So Enchantress dead for 45. Timber's back alive. But it looks like the tier 4 towers are now under threat. Eurus with the God Strength. They need to do something. They need to do it now. It's on top of the back line. There they go. Nothing to say. Can't find the initiation. Has to now pop the ultimate to be able to disengage. But he's in trouble. And said Faith Blonde. They're going to turn towards him. He doesn't have many reactive armor stacks. He will pay the price. As Somnus with the level 25 is just zoning them back. T4's a drop. The throne's going to die. LOGD. Got to tap out of here in this second game. And it's going to be a Faith Beyond Enchantress. So we don't also see Enchantress played as an off lane too much either. He's also got a bottle coming out as well with top lane, FY. Frostbite's going to give him some space along with the Blast Dyer's and the Crystal Nova. But Dyer, they're chasing. Why is going to be able to secure first blood? Although it looks like Yang wants a little bit of revenge here. A little bit closer. And now here comes his extra thirst movement speed. Once Faith Beyond wants to start putting some aggression on. But it looks like Radiant just want to continue hunting Arme. Who's under threat with this Crystal Maiden Bloodseeker combo. He's got a couple of reinforcements coming in the area, but it looks like it might just be a little bit too late. Dinku's roll and kick is off the mark, and now he's got to be careful as well. His Blood Riot with the pure damage, Ben. Yang's on a mega kill streak. But Ame's actually going to TP back to the lane. We still got some aggression out in the river as Eurus with this replica. They dodge the arrow, but now with the Star Storm and the Waveform, magic damage is going to be enough to find a kill. They can continue chasing his Yang. He's got the Rupture of Faith Beyond. TP it in. Now he's just going to have to run himself away, but sets up for this Blood Riot. And now Faith Beyond will fall as well. That's a double kill for Eurus. So I'm just going to play pretty up in their face knowing he's got this haste. And now Radiant just going to come top. Like, Arme TP'd here. Now they got the arrow set up once again. It's already down to a third HP. They'll pop the Exism. Somnus actually wants to get aggressive, but he doesn't have mana for the Star Storm. Yang on top of the backline, however, will clean up. Blade Mill. Build that he wants with the Dispersion. And now top, Death Prophet. Getting brought pretty low here. Why is going to try and get in range, but the Silence lasts for so long with the Blood Right. Six seconds. He couldn't get any Siphon charges off. Man, this is why. Okay. I now fully see this Crystal Maiden Bloodseeker. They're baiting the range creep though. Yuri's gonna be careful. I believe the smoke pops out from Yang. Really nicely done. And now the Chantra is gonna get caught out with the Blood Riot. Atos combined up. Yuris even utilizing this replica, trying to find nothing to say, prevent him from getting the haste. They are actually turning their attention away from the Enchantress, so die. They're gonna try to keep him alive, however, but FY is gonna let it go. A lot of damage. Zin Q4 is about to half HP. Now Yuris comes from out of nowhere. Three dead. Probably make it four as well with the Atos arrow combined up. They gotta be careful, nothing to say. Still posturing aggressively. Now with the rub shot, really halting his position so far. It's just gonna eat the full brunt of the force and the siphon. It's not gonna be enough heal. Yuris gonna be able to keep his life as well with Yarrow on top of the back line. They'll find the Earth Spirit, the second spirit as well with Avenge and a triple for Yuris. Nothing to say though. It's got to be super careful. They get the Atos to control him. Zinku's on the back line. It's a nice dual scepter. It's going to disrupt the initiation, but it sets up for the arrow. Finally, Arma is going to show up the haunts. It's a decent amount of damage on top of Red Panda with the magnetized double swap. Gets rid of the freezing field as well. They're falling pretty low on the blood seek. Yo Yang's going to try and disengage, but he won't be able to. And why is in trouble as well? But Yuris is actually going to commit forward. He still has the ages for another two minutes here, even trying to utilize the replica as well. A nice man to dodge, but the waveform's still on cooldown. Can he get away, however? They're lacking the stuns on Dyer. So I'm just going to Manta as well. So a lot of these silences aren't going to try and control him. Swap back. The Manta. There's the leap charges. And now Dyer, if they run up the high gun, they can counter back here. Why is overstep the mark? The arrow's going to connect and Radiant. They're coming over. Adapt the strike. Not even required here is now Dyer. They've got to disengage. Yang, can he get in range for the Atos or even the Rupture as well? Roll forward, Zinku. Haunt as well. It's a nice silence. Arme straight on top of the back line. They've got the Exorcism with the Magnetites combined. The pipe stopping a lot of damage from coming through. Now with the Freezing Field, they're going to turn. I mean, with this Blade Mail, but it still costs the lives of the Crystal Maiden. Arme about a third HP. is going to try and be forced to retreat out here as Radiant. They did dive incredibly deep. Camp, I think, is yours. They're going to roll forward on FY. Now with the backline wrap, however, they're going to be able to burst through. Actually, Venge for Spirit, yeah, will end up falling. Yuris pops the beat, get me to start the fight. Now with Replica to the Death Prophet as well, they're stuck inside the river. They've got the Exorcism, so it looks like Dying need to commit for the fight here. But with two heroes already down and a beautiful Blood Riot combined up with the Double Crush from Red Panda, they're just going to all end up dropping as it's four dead from LGD. 
got Glimmer and Mech. They're going to try and move forward, however. Can FY get some help fast enough, however? The Glimmer Cape, and now it looks like they're going to be able to turn towards the rest of the team. It's Faith Beyond pops the Force Off's going to be able to get the distance, but die. They need to retreat away. They didn't get the initiation they were looking for. Armor um, actually wants to commit to the fight here. They're going to join up. Rupture controlling up nothing to say. Enchantress has already died to start the fight. They're going to lose a one for two. Now continuing up. Where's the follow-up catch, however? Oh, nothing to say. Don't walk up the high ground. There's a DD on Eurus. He's going to shred one, probably shreds another as well. This card is slow. They even solo crest up heroes just for the sake of it. And they're not done. They find Y on top of the outpost here, so he's just going to get chased down. He's got a TP, but a double waveform from Eurus, who's level 25 already. Prophet's alive, so that's the second full set. They can go back and take Roshan, if, although this Roche might just get melt. Oh my god. Bye bye, Roche. Refresher shot on the deck. They pop the extra, but it's a little bit too late. Die. They might be forced to take the fight, but nothing to say. It's just going to get shredded, man. The waveform with the crits just do way too much damage with the waveform attacking targets. Now Face Beyond's going to get bursted with the shotgun. It's all up to Arme. But I don't even know. I think it was CM, but. All right, Spectre's got buyback. Horns available. They're going to try and roll forward and take the fire, but now instantly assassinate the backline of Juris. They're going to be able to find a second kill on the support. He's tanking up a lot of damage on the Morphling, but remember, he's got this second life to be able to utilize, and it looks like Arme is going to be a dieback for him as well. So, Elephant, they'll take our second series of the night. Two to one. Beautiful performance from Elephant. The incredible rival match that we have kind of developing.